They're all in the background. <laughs> Introduce to you an experience. Welcome to Jamaica. Oh, 
No, that's for um headaches. You guys, when I say this room was literally breathless <laughs> and breathtaking, it was just like phenomenal. Like in person, top tier. The decor, the lighting, like the vibe of it all. It is really breathless and it is definitely adult only. Okay.
is I'm in now, cut your edge out To some ice, but you'll be heavy in my mind Can you get the heck out? I need rest now, got me one though You so, you so, you Baby, baby, baby I've been on my hands in mind I try to get from the rules to the rest of They ain't got dirty clothes all in the background. <laughs> it's a video. Let me get your This is Babe's outfit. I'm screaming with the shoes. <laughs> okay. All right, y'all, so we got dressed for the night. First dinner at this restaurant. It was called Culinaria. Culinaria. It was amazing, y'all. The vibe, the vibe, the vibe. Y'all gonna see my favorite restaurant probably like later on in the video, but this was the first one. They had some really good food. I forgot what me and babe got. I think y'all gonna see it in just a little bit, but yeah, 10 out of 10 would recommend. The resort is just, it's just giving y'all. Oh, that's what it was, y'all. I got jerk chicken. I don't know why I forgot that. I was getting jerk chicken basically every meal because I wanted to taste all of their different types of jerk chicken. But I got jerk chicken with vegetables and rice and peas, as they call it. And then they've got braised oxtails with corn on the cob, vegetables, also rice and peas. y'all i've just been given a lot of montages but we are on the third floor we are in a room 50 through 12 so the way the way that they do it is they go by the 
fifth building, third floor, and then your room number is 12. Well, our room number is 12. So yeah, of course I'm only showing y'all this because it's after the fact that we're already gone by the time y'all see this, but yeah. So this is our room, 5312. And this is our door. As y'all saw earlier in the clip, they put happy birthday instead of happy anniversary. Um, door sign, like the whole nine, so. Did my trail just like me? <laughs> y'all, he just closed the door. Amen. But yeah, this is our view on the outside of the door, as y'all already saw. This is the resort. There's still people arriving, so I love that because they get like a night experience, but everything kind of starts winding down. It could be too because it's Monday, so everything starts winding down about 11, 12. But yeah, this is the hallway. This is just me giving y'all a view, you know what I'm saying, of the hallway and like if you guys are doing an all-inclusive trip. But yeah, there's the birthday sign. So yeah, we're going to go in. Oh, maybe he didn't do that. Maybe that was just the door. Oh, and by the way, these are wood doors. So you have to actually like push them in to close them. But yeah, y'all have already seen all of this. This is our room. This is at night. So you can pretty much change the lights. Like this part is to the shower. Throw these two by the, um, what's the name? I can't think of the word. And just open it like this so this is a seating area and i know y'all can't really see that much but this is the night view and it is just incredible 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 it's just so beautiful and again this is on the resort so like all of that is like lit up down there that's where we just were and yeah this is super beautiful as well I think all of this is so gorgeous. But yeah. And then of course those are like other rooms on that side. And then there's also rooms next to us here. And then there's the jacuzzi, which I'm about to get in. Okay, I don't know about that. But I'm definitely about to get in. I don't I'm going to enjoy a warm fiery jacuzzi. I think it's this way. It's over there. The gift shop it should be this way. If all the other amenities is over there. Hey y'all, so today is, what is today? Huh? What's today? The 23rd. Yeah. <laughs> today is the 23rd, it is Tuesday. Babe just left because he's getting ready to go pay for one of our excursions. Um, and so we had to kind of like walk up. Oh y'all wait, hold on, I'm supposed to be pumping. get into it. 
my body is basically thinking that I'm trying to pump for more milk, but I'm trying to get the milk out of me, okay? I'm trying to get the milk out of me because I don't have Jacob here to nurse on me. So if I don't pump it out, I'm going to be engorged and sore and leaking and I can also develop mastitis. Um, I can also develop a cough duck. Like I'm not about to be doing all that, okay? So, and I'm only doing one because honestly, I have a weak boob and I have a strong boob and this is my weaker boob. This will definitely fill up and like become engorged, but it's not as bad as this one. This one will set it off, okay? Like, it has my personality for sure. So, um, my my right boob is definitely the weaker boob, but it still produces milk for sure. So, anyway, that's not the purpose of this. So, I haven't really talked to y'all, and what I was going to do was actually give y'all, like, a rundown of, like, the whole trip, you know, after we had left or whatever. But I was like, you know what? We're going to be here for a little while, y'all. We're going to be here for an entire week, and I'm so blessed and grateful to just experience this like we haven't even been to the beach and i'm already like this is amazing so i can only imagine going to the beach that's actually one of our excursions that we're getting ready to do tomorrow this is amazing and i'm so blessed and grateful i'm so thankful to my husband because he paid for this whole trip like the whole thing um for both of us but he said he was taking me on vacation so i really appreciate that um wholeheartedly um that's just incredible like beyond words and i'm just so happy that we get this time to just be with each other kind of like you know before we had kids um because nothing wrong with our children we love our kids to death it's just that when you become a parent it's like you're on go mode you never stop thinking you never stop doing you never stop giving you're always exerting a lot of energy into your babies and so um we really needed this time i know i did if, if nothing else because i had kids back to back and you know even this go around you would think it'd be easier but it's a little harder because baby boys breastfed and at one point he was exclusively breastfed until I started combo feeding him. So yeah, it's it's been hard. It's even been hard for me, y'all, like being away from, and I'm not trying to, you know, no slight to my firstborn, Ezekiel, um, but he's a little older and he loves being with his nanny, um, which is my sister-in-law. He loves being with her. He loves being with his cousin. So he's not really like, you know, that detached, if you will. Maybe after a few days, he'll probably want me, you know, or his dad, but like, if he see us, he gonna want to come with us. But, you know, when we left, he was like, bye. Like, I'm with my family over here. Like, I'm good. And that's a lot for me because I'm like, you're still my baby. Like, I know you're getting older. He'll actually be two. Like, the day we come back, um, Ezekiel turns two. And that's already an emotional thing for me because I'm not there with him. So, yeah, it's it's been hard. But, again, no slight to him. But, like, I'm really missing Jacob because he's my newest baby. He's breastfed, so it's not just a bond for him, it's a bond for me. And I'm used to him nursing on me at night, but yeah. Now Montreal takes the place of nursing. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Scream! No, I'm just playing. But yeah, it, it does feel really good though, y'all, seriously. Pretty much, we've only been here for, I guess you could say two days. I don't count it as two days because I feel like the night has to come and then it's two days. But we basically been here since Monday. We um, had a flight, as y'all saw in the earlier clips, at 4 in the morning. The flight was supposed to be at 4.49, but then they changed it to 5.29. And I don't even want to say it was a delay. I think something happened in the airport, like, earlier, because they didn't open everything until 4. So just imagine this long line where people are dropping off their bags. Some of us have carry-ons, like I did and we're checking in our bags um to go through tsa and all that kind of stuff so it was a long line but it went by pretty quickly hey y'all i just realized i was so dark so i'm gonna probably cut most of that because it's just not given i was trying to give y'all me and the backdrop so you guys could see the backdrop because it was so beautiful but this just gonna have to do and if this is dark let me tell you something i don't care okay but anyway, so what I was basically saying was um, we are here. Obviously, guys, we are in Jamaica. Um, we are at the, we are in Montego Bay. We are at the Breathless Resort. It's everywhere, like on their appliances, on just everything. Just super beautiful, y'all. Like, I really can't express it as much as I done expressed it 
Um, this is our vacation, but it's also our anniversary. So I'm super excited. Me and Montreal have been married or will be married for four years. Uh, we've been knowing each other for seven. So in total, what's that? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, we've been together for 11 years, which is insane. Um, that is insane. Wow. But yeah, so we are here for both of those reasons. We both desperately needed a vacation on top of the fact that we're celebrating our anniversary so it's like a double homicide if you will you know what i'm saying like we both are just enjoying each other's company uh without our boys who we miss so much i'm gonna say me i just be saying we so i don't make stuff sound bad because my trail he don't care i care <laughs> but i miss my kids um so much i know zeke is not too worried about me but it's that jacob it's that jacob um who i'm also missing a lot too yeah it's gonna be a very eventful week um babe actually like i said before he just went downstairs to pay for our excursion he's been gone for a little minute so i don't know what he's doing but anyway um tonight we're going to dinner we've been going to dinner every night um and i don't know what we're gonna do tonight but they're supposed to have like everything like it's supposed to be popping popping karaoke a fashion show like everything so we're super excited to explore the resort but then we also do want to go on the outskirts just a little bit we don't want to go too far because we don't want no legs missing we don't want to get our head chopped off god be praised so we're gonna stay right in the middle um and then we're supposed to actually be leaving the resort on wednesday which is tomorrow and then thursday and friday we're gonna get an airbnb we were gonna stay here on the resort for the whole week but they ran out of rooms so um you know we were like well we're gonna be you know here for a little minute so we might as well make the best of it we didn't want to get a hotel we wanted to actually you know so yeah that's what we're gonna do um i'm really ready to go on the beach that's actually a part of the excursion and i cannot wait because those vibes are going to be immaculate so i'm excited for that but that's pretty much it y'all but yeah like i said i was going to do a rundown for y'all like at the end of the trip of how everything went so you guys can know what to do if you want to experience this but um i was like well i haven't really talked to y'all like at all so i really need to just like do a quick little mid check-in and then maybe at the end of the video um i'll definitely give you guys a full full rundown of everything um again my husband took me on vacation and for our anniversary so i didn't do anything i didn't get no travel agent i didn't book nothing flight nothing all i had to do was buy myself some clothes get my nails done do my hair and pack that was it so i will ask him everything he did um the only thing i will be done doing sorry is booking the airbnb um and that's just because i'm a woman it's more in my preference than anything so that's it really um of course y'all are gonna see everything we do when it comes to the excursions the restaurants again so y'all can know what to do they are gonna give you kind of like your own personal um i don't want to say butler but like your own personal tour tour guide i guess you could call it or guide um it'll be a female or a male that will be responsible for booking all of your excursions they will be responsible for getting you to the excursion like everything so it's super dope it is worth the money when you realize all the stuff that's included so yeah but that's it because i've been talking for a long time now um i'm just waiting on babe to get back i think i'm going to take like a quick little nap i'm not tired but i want to you know wake up with energy so we can have like fun like really really heavy fun tonight but the thing is we have to be up by 7 45 actually we got to be gone at 7 45 which means we got to get up early in the morning to go to this excursion so i don't want to be out like too too late but um i still want us to enjoy our time here at least while we're still on the resort for the next day and a half but yeah that's it love you guys and i'll talk to you soon Well, on our way to the pool. Okay, y'all. I got a confession to make. I can't swim. I'm black and I can't swim. So, waters, they terrify me. And what's crazy? Is we, me and my sister used to swim all the time when we was kids. So I don't know how all of a sudden I just stopped learning how to swim. And my sister taught me how to swim too, by the way. But yeah, I'm not gonna be in this water with my phone because if I drop it, that's it.
But I just want y'all to see. And I think tonight they're doing karaoke, so that's where they do karaoke. Um, and then that's like our view, you right there. Yeah. You gonna do it? Mm -hmm. I really don't think you are. They're made out of foam. I'll go put your phone there. Okay. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. It's raining. Yeah, it's raining, so we didn't really have to get out the pool, but it's just the principle that it's raining. <laughs> so we're about to go over here, huh? Okay, we're about to go sit over there, and yeah. Good, how are you? Making our way to the beach, well, actually the restaurant on the beach which I think is here yep y'all look it the beach is beaching <laughs> it's beaching look y'all we're not even up on it just yet because we're gonna go eat restaurants they don't stay oh that way it's pointing that way but yeah and everybody that's another thing too everybody we've met here or not necessarily met but like everybody's so nice you know like i love seeing my people it's just so beautiful like everybody's just so cool they're like just doing their own little thing it's so nice but yeah, y'all. Definitely gonna hit the water. Gonna hit the water. <laughs> Do you wanna talk? Oh, it's the the uh background for me though. It's actually killing. I look good in oh, my background looks good. Can you even see me wrong dark? Come on, let's go to the beach. What's up, y'all? I said, <laughs> what's up, y'all? <laughs> you were trying to say see. Okay, what's up, y'all? I said it again. <laughs> Be careful. Okay. All right, what's up, y'all? We on the way to the beach. Oh, hold on. Y'all gotta check out my... Boy, yeah, I gotta check out the drip. Oh. Okay, we on the way to the beach. We just got done eating at some little bar. Um, bear, bear buns and grill. It was pretty good. I had a little fish and um, rice. So let's have jerk chicken quesadillas. So. Ten out of ten. Y'all need to go there. She said it's a 10 out of 10, so. Oh, I'm not used to this, y'all, so. Yep. She told me to come on here and talk, so I'm just talking. <laughs> uh, she really afraid of water, so she probably not gonna get in the water. Uh, I'm gonna get in the water. Uh, if y'all wanna know where I got this little outfit from, it's in the Sheen. Okay. We'll they not paying me for this, but we'll go to Shane. We're going to put it in the description. So here we are. We at the we at the beach. About to get in. Hey guys. And then, yeah. All right. We'll hit y'all back. Oh, we did order room service. So it's not supposed to be here till like 45 minutes. So I like to eat. So I'm probably going to be here for 45 minutes and go get my room service. But yeah, all right, we'll be back. Y'all, this is amazing. Amazing. The Lord is kind to us, seriously. Cause this is such an experience and I've never been this close to a beach before, even on the beach. So I think that this is just amazing.
that I get to experience this. Let me talk to y'all. Hold on. That I get to experience this at my young age with my husband. I want to come back with um, our kids when they're a little bit older. Um, just so they can have the experience, you know, that they been to Jamaica. And if, even if it's not Jamaica per se, just somewhere with the kids, I think would be really nice. I'm not gonna attempt to go like you going because I, I don't swim, as y'all know. But I do think that um, this is extremely beautiful and I'm just like so grateful. I think he want me to get some footage of him. You are. Look at him. Yeah, I don't know. I, I can't do that. Up. But it's so beautiful out here, y'all. I'm, I'm literally in awe of God's creation. It's just so beautiful. Hey y'all, we made it back to the room. My hair looks crazy. All of the hair, the human hair, by the way, that I added in, y'all, it all came out, like most of it. Only pieces you're really seeing is what's added in like at the bottom. But I'm screaming, because that's like our room full of hair. <laughs> But yeah, we swam at the, well, I ain't gonna say I swam, but we were at the beach. And you know, water makes you like super exhausted. So we're super exhausted. Right, babe? I'm screaming. I told him he looked like a black DJ Khaled. But um, we're currently on the balcony right now because um, I hate to call them like the cleaning lady and stuff, but the janitorial people are here um, to clean our room because apparently I didn't know, but it's a um, everything is like touch screen, so you have to touch like a button that says clean room in order for them to know to come clean your room. Other than that, they will walk past your room because it says do not disturb. So the whole time we've been out, I'm thinking they cleaned up our room and the lady came, but we didn't have the thing pressed, the button pressed. So they're cleaning it up now for us because ideally I would like to go to sleep in the clean room. Nothing changes, baby. We on vacation, but nothing changes. The OCD remains the same. So I want them to clean the room and then two, um, we're going to we're going to dinner. So I just want the room clean before we leave. So when we come back, we'll come back to a clean room. But I am waiting on her to get done so we can rinse off really quick because we were in salt water. So I just want to rinse that off. Not even really just shower, just rinse it off. And then I'll like get back up before dinner to shower. But we're going to take a nap because we're a little tired. I'm really not tired. I'll probably just be on my phone editing a little bit of this vlog. And then um, I'll probably like go to sleep like an hour before we gotta leave. I did that last night. I went to sleep right at like 5.50 and my alarm was set to 6.30, 6.45. I was like, oh my God, I did not really wanna get up, but I got up. And I was up a little bit earlier this morning too. I think I got up at seven o'clock on the dot and I'm used to getting up early because I work early in the morning. So my body's just like so used to it. But yeah, this view y'all, I just, I can't, I can't get over it. It's insane. I'm gonna switch the camera around so y'all can actually see it. Do y'all see the the freaking beach base basically? Like all of that. Like, are y'all hearing me? Sorry, it's trying to focus on my finger, but look at all of that. And then all up there is houses. And wow, I just <laughs> is really a beautiful place like to wake up to this every day yeah imagine the people that live you know what i'm saying on those houses i said on those houses in those houses like that's crazy they got money but yeah i'm sure y'all probably tired of seeing this background You said you wanted a brownie. Both of these are mine. I know. So, um, we ordered room service while we was on the beach, and it took a little minute, but it's here. So, I got a cookie dough brownie. You said both of these are brownies. No, that's so nice. Yeah, I was like, damn. But, yeah, so this is what I got. And Babe is basically eating again. But this looks good. 
I'm not gonna lie, I definitely wanna take a little bite bite. But y'all, look at that little tomato ketchup pinkies. Aren't they the cutest? Oh my God, I wanna take this bag as a souvenir. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so nice. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, so that beautiful lady just cleaned out our jacuzzi because it was really full of my hair. I told y'all my hair is shedding, so it's just like full of my hair. Yeah, she was doing nasty stuff <laughs> last night. She was definitely doing nasty stuff in the pool. <laughs> okay. Something yeah. Like, it's full of her hair. <laughs> it wasn't me. But anyway, so yeah. Um, she's about to I'm in the jacuzzi. Yeah, thank you. But it, anyways, <laughs> babe eating again. This is like third time today. <laughs> oh my god. The blessing of our reclusive. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna leave you guys all so take care. Okay, thank you. Thank you. you wanna go rinse off after you? Huh? You wanna go rinse off after you? Alright, I need to sell this. So that means tomorrow. He said cash out for sale. Huh? That's your problem. You said what? That's a song. Good afternoon. Yes. Um, can we come here and then I'll have them call you, please? Okay, yeah, no problem. Alrighty, then. Stop. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. Y'all need to get this. It's busting. We don't know what it's going on now. But y'all need to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah, look. You broke his leg. Damn, at least my phone good. I didn't mean to have the flash on, but whatever. So we're at dinner. I think it's called Sofrita or something like that. Um, I got the chicken enchiladas. No, I got something chicken. I can't remember, but yeah, this is mine. They doubled it for me because I think it only comes with two and these are right plantains with some type of sauce at the bottom. So yeah. Babe, what did you get again? I'm gonna get two, but. Thank you. 
outside we had a lot of fun in karaoke i sang again i don't know if they recorded it but I, I sang again um but yeah we're outside just chilling this is actually a restaurant so this is the restaurant we came to the first night and then there's another restaurant inside of that restaurant so we just ate there they thought our anniversary was today, but it's not today, it's tomorrow. But we still celebrate it. I believe one of our, our room somewhere up there, it might be that one right there. Y'all can't see where I'm pointing, but it might be that one. Cause I feel like that's where I view it. Oh no, I'm lying. It's that one right there because we're under, we're on top of like a, like a sandbox, if you will. So our room is actually right in the middle, which is pretty dope now that I think about it. So we're right underneath the lobby. That's where they had the fashion show yesterday. Yeah, I'm sure y'all probably tired of seeing the same thing, but we're not saying the same thing. We're seeing different stuff. It's just, yeah. It's just so beautiful, y'all. Good morning, guys. This is the fit for our excursion today. Oh, wait. I forgot those clothes. Well, it's not bad. Wait. I just lathered up. Ooh, these gloves. Y'all got bit. I don't know if y'all can see my finger. I got bit. And it hurt too. I ain't gonna lie. This Shane Jerry, pretty good. Hasn't rusted on me yet. 
Of course, you have to bring fake jewelry because they be stealing. But yeah, so don't mind the dirt. It's really actually not even dirty. It's just the towel that we use to dry off. And then that's babes swimsuit. So yeah, but it's definitely given. I just had a baby with my black stomach. But yep, same hair as yesterday or hairstyle. Um, got my sun visor and I got this also from Sheen. Like I said, everything that Babe and I wore is going to be in the description. Um, it comes with pads. I don't even know if y'all can see it. It comes with pads, um, which I do like because I have the breastfeeding nipples that are super huge and hard. So I like that extra like coverage. Um, next time though, I will be getting all my stuff. I think this is a medium. I might have to get a large for like my tops and then, um, medium for my bottoms because mama got boobs, mama got boobs and, and this, this, this ain't gonna work. But yeah, so we're on our way to our excursion and of course I'll get footage for y'all for that. But yeah. We have a mini fridge which is right there it blends in with the cabinet so you have to open it and they did they big ones like you literally have you we literally have everything so they got cranberry water it's natural flavored water they had this thing called big big up juice it's like a fanta orange it's so good um they have sprite coke like everything you need like to revitalize yourself and like refresh and i love that and I thought this was pretty dope, especially for today. You're going to need all the energy. So, yeah, definitely about to drink this. I, I actually brought some liquid IVs. I should do a video where I show y'all how I packed. But I brought some liquid IVs. Um, I also brought some vitamin C, which actually I'm about to take that now. So, I'm going to put this packet in the cranberry juice. So, yeah, I will not be sluggish and tired. This is your best friend, okay? If you do the liquid IV, you need to eat first because that is, um, it's like a literal IV. Like, I mean, well, with that IV, you'll get the energy boost from that just because it's going directly in your body, you know what I mean? Like, in your blood. But with the liquid IV, you need to eat with it first. So, yeah, I'm done talking. We're about to take that. We're in a small town by the name of Oakland. So, early on in the morning, I'm busy here, a long truck is coming back in the evening, long truck. So people living around this small town, they don't have to go into the big city to open their business, right? They have their own market. <laughs> what is up y'all so today has been a day <laughs> today has been a day but i couldn't bring my phone um well i'm not gonna say i couldn't i just assumed that it was just better and safer not to so after we left the hotel we went to our excursion um we were supposed to do atv and horseback riding in the water well when we got there um we were not able to do it so they offered us zip lining and party boat. So we missed the first zip lining group that went. And so we had to wait until the next zip lining group went. So we did that by the time we got like done with just the whole thing. Like it takes some time. It's another thing y'all have to realize too. Like, or not realize, but that's something you guys are gonna have to know. Like once you get down here, like it, I think it's just slow. Um, it just takes time, I guess. But yeah, so they got us in like the Ziploc, a uh, Ziploc. They got us in the um, zip lining gear. Um, we sat there for a minute. We had to walk to the actual, you know, zip lining part. And then um, once you do it, it goes by really fast. So we did that. Um, that was extremely, extremely fun and exhilarating because I'm like terrified of heights and I'm also terrified of zip lining. Like I literally said I would never do it and I did not have a choice uh, other than that. If we didn't do it, we would have lost our money. So um, we did that. And then, like I said, by the time we were done with that, 
we were gonna do the party boat at one, but it was already about to be one o'clock and we were just like tired. And so um, we ended up getting back on the bus to go home. And then we came home and we were only supposed to be in the room for just a little bit. And I guess we were gonna go do something else, but child, we ended up knocking out. Okay. So they ordered some room service. I'm about to eat that because that stuff be so good. I don't know what it's called. I gotta ask them, but my arm tired. <laughs> but yeah, hold on, let me get my hand out the way. But yeah, so I'm about to eat that. And then of course, you know, we got the dinner. Um and yeah, oh, what's today? I keep thinking today is our anniversary. I'm like tripping. But tomorrow is our anniversary. Um, we've been married for four years, or we'll be married for four years tomorrow. We've been knowing each other for seven years, so we've been together for 11 years, guys. That is insane. But, yeah, um, I'm super excited about that. And um, after I eat, I'm probably just going to go ahead and shower because I think the cleaning service crew is supposed to come back at 6 30 so they can clean up the room for us which is of course perfect because once we get back from dinner we can have a clean room which i love so yeah um i'll give y'all like i said a whole rundown of jamaica at the end of the video so that'll be mostly talking if y'all don't really care to see all of that the video will probably more than likely end on the day we leave um and then we'll resume back to our weekly vlogs but that part is specifically for people who want like informational informational is that the right word if they want information about jamaica but yeah that's it i guess i'll show y'all the food of what we're eating oh my hand was in that way the whole time i'm sorry y'all but um i'm gonna show y'all what we got and then i don't think i'll do another get ready with me just because i've already done that I'll just show you guys our fits and then that'll be it. dinner well we had dinner like a long time ago we went to the rooftop and then we went downstairs to um enjoy whatever they were doing down there so now we're gonna go back up to the rooftop to swim just changed oh y'all cannot see me you'll be all right 
but just change fits. I have on my green bathing suit with the um, Jamaican shorts that I got from the excursion. Hopefully y'all can see, actually, y'all probably can't see for real. Hold on, maybe I should stand in the light. Yeah, I got these shorts from the excursion. They're so dope. I actually really like these a lot and then I just got on my fake Yeezys. <laughs> I got these from Jean, y'all. They're really good too, good quality. But yeah, we're about to go swim and catch a vibe. We get real, real cold, then when we get a jacuzzi, it's gonna be perfect. Woo! I'm trying to get adjusted to it. Yes, it is. Yeah. Boy, stop lying. <laughs> Yeah, I still got the Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Alright, y'all, we decided to get in the jacuzzi because the pool was cold, okay? So, yeah. Good morning. Today is May 25th. It is Thursday. It's our anniversary! I'm so excited. So I am, as y'all can see, Lord have mercy, in the midst of packing up everything. Um, by the way, I didn't use anything that the resort gave us as far as like this stuff. You know, they just be making up stuff. Sorry, y'all, it's not focusing. Yeah, all this stuff, mm -mm, child. So I brought my own antibacterial soap that was zest. And then I also used a um, mini Olay um, body wash so yeah everything in here too by the way is all my products this is my face wash this is my exfoliant this is my femi wash of course my razor and i'm getting ready to take my vitamins down which is actually why i pulled up the camera because i was gonna show y'all me packing which i still might do but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and take ooh, yeah pumping as well because i woke up engorged on my left boob right like i told y'all my right boob sucks but so if it gets engorged, it'll probably get engorged like the last day we leave. But today we're leaving the resort. Sorry, y'all can't see my face. Today we're leaving the resort in like another two hours and a half. So I just want to be proactive and get my stuff done now just because I know me. Okay. And I will leave stuff. It's not so much that I'm just slow. I'm just going to leave something and then I'm going to be so mad because I remember when we went to Houston, I left my... Um, I was about to say cardigan. Uh, my trench coat that I just bought, first of all, it felt like it was a rare find because it had a hood and it was just like this beautiful, like almost like this kind of color. It was, y'all, it was fire. It had chocolate brown buttons. You can't find that nowhere, child. And if you do, you're going to be paying on arm to leg. I didn't have to pay an arm to leg. I think I paid like $80 for it and I think I got it from Forever 21. I don't even remember where I got that jacket from. But yeah, I left that and I was so mad because I was already gone from Houston. Can't get it back. Okay. So this time around, we all went in Jamaica. If I leave anything, like, that's it. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, they can ship it, but who's going to go through all that? So anyways, I'm not going to talk y'all ears off. It was at this moment he knew he fucked up. I am going to take these pills. I'm going to show y'all how that little thing is. Um, I brush my teeth, wash my face. I am starting to encord, encord, I'm starting to include this now, y'all. Um, come on, come on, baby. I see you trying to focus. I see. It's trying to focus on me. Okay. Um, the facial mist, witch hazel. Y'all know I used to use this stuff religiously, but then I stopped using it because I really didn't see a difference with or without it. Just like with sunscreen. I didn't see a difference with or without it until I started incorporating it again. And if y'all have noticed, my skin has not been breaking out. If I do have a breakout, it's probably because, I don't know, maybe I'm eating too much of something. But other than that, my skin has been doing so good because of sunscreen, vitamin C, which y'all, I left my vitamin C serum at home. 
Oh, it's just another story. But basically what I do with this, I just spray it. I don't like, normally you see witch hazel, that's just the liquid and then you can pour it on the cotton pad. Well, this, I just, it's a facial mist. So I just spray it and then I kind of like rub it in just a little bit and then I pat the rest of it um, while it's still wet and I let it just kind of like soak into my skin. Um, and then I go in with my moisturizer, my vitamin C serum that I don't have and then my sunscreen and then I'm good for the day. So um, we showered yesterday. I'm not going to shower personally right now um i'm just gonna wait till we get to our airbnb and then once we go for dinner i'll shower of course so yeah i'm about to go ahead and take these pills let me show y'all i got this from amazon it is so freaking dope Hello. you're okay i was just checking if you um no we haven't <laughs> okay i'll put up what's in one because we're trying to pack our stuff so this is the magic peel box <laughs> so it comes like this and of course open and lock so you just twist it this way to open it and then this is the actual peel bottle first i was like contemplating on getting it because it looks like something else <laughs> but i said all the other ones were old looking it looked like i'd be taking thirty thousand pills and i only take vitamins i only take a few so i just thought this would work because it has the dates as well and you know it's cute so obviously i've taken sunday taken monday oh by the way these are all my probiotics <laughs> that i didn't take um and that's because when we be waking up we be waking up late not really late but like we wake up just in time to eat breakfast so with these pre and probiotics that i take um, they prefer you to take it without food and so that's the only way that it'll like you'll really see the benefits So I don't want to take it when I have a full stomach. So I pretty much just been skipping those days I think I did take them Tuesday. Yeah, I took them Tuesday and This is wait. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's Wednesday and this is today. This is Thursday as y'all can see So I've taken all of these. I thought I was in the frame. I'm sorry y'all But yeah, again, this is Wednesday, which is empty and then again Thursday. So um, I've already eaten. Like I said, we woke up a little late today. Today we actually did wake up late. Um, and that was intentional because we're checking out. So there's no need to get up super early. I was supposed to hit the gym. I never did. I don't know what stopped me. I feel like we were doing a lot like of stuff. And then when I wanted to, I was like, well, let me just take a nap. And then I'm going to get up and go down there. Well, that failed. So now we're here. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take all the other ones. My vitamin D, my fish oil, my zinc. And then my prebiotics, they're actually inside of Tuesday, I believe. So um, I'll probably just wait until like a break in between where we don't eat for a few hours and then take it. Um, yeah. And then we got Friday. I'm going to try not to open it too much because I don't want my pills to fall out. And then we got Saturday. So, yeah, we got a full week of vitamins. Wait, 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 wait. Y'all haven't seen this in years. below if this was your favorite show back in the day it was this in one-on-one for me with kyla pratt yeah 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 okay let's take these vitamins right. i'm only gonna be pumping two by the way for uh 15 minutes and we on 12 right now okay Some of them. Or they go like this. Okay, so this they original. This they uh original booty. But then they go like this. I'm trying to make sure my tripod thigh. By the way, y'all, this is nigger rigged. This is nigger rigged. Okay. So I'm trying to be careful. Okay, so this this they body. This they booty. This the stomach. You just gotta, you know what I'm saying, make look, it don't even look like I'm trying. You just go like this, and then they go like this and then it gives them like a little it's probably not the best example i should have like something else 
Okay. And then they go like, yeah. Unless they got a BBL, then they don't got to do that. But, baby, post your body. Like this. Okay. But anyway, I'm done. I'm about to start packing for real. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and spray my face. This is a powerful spray, too. And it don't contain alcohol. Yeah, it's alcohol-free, and it's the cucumber scent. Oh, yeah, I just wanted to get enough milk out where I wasn't lumping up because I can feel it right here. Right here. It's, it's pretty bad. I think this one is good for now, but I'm probably going to have to do it a little bit later on. But, yeah, let's rub it in. Light B. And we just pat it all the way through. I am so bad that I left my vitamin C serum, but I'm not going to lie. My skin has been looking good without it. Might be something else we can take off the leaves. I just be trying to make my skincare routine as easy as possible, quick as possible, and efficient. And if I can just use three to four products every day, yes. And then now with my makeup, I don't put on foundation by itself anymore. I'm always mixing it in with my sunscreen, which also gives me a reason to never not wear my sunscreen, you know, because, well, actually the opposite. It gives me a reason when I wear my makeup, like I'll never not have on sunscreen, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm always wearing sunscreen. I'm not always wearing makeup, but I'm always wearing sunscreen. And there are times that people will be like, are you wearing makeup? And I'm like, no, because I literally just have on sunscreen and my skin is like even toned a little bit more now. Um, and then other times when I do put it on, they're like, wow, it looks so natural. I'm like, yeah, because... Girl, all I got on the sunscreen and makeup. So, okay, we have 15 minutes. So, this is what we got. Oh, y'all can see that. This is what we got. Y'all, I haven't pumped in so long. So, when I be seeing my milk in this thing, I be like, dang, Jacob be eating. <laughs> I was supposed to stop talking to y'all a long time ago. Mm. It's okay. Y'all like it. Y'all love it. Ain't that right? Okay. Anyways. Oh, so what I'm doing too, guys, since I've been running my mouth, is I'm wiping off all the products that were in the shower because, of course, humidity and then it's like wet and stuff. So, um, I've already dried off all of this. Actually, none of this stuff was wet outside of my face wash because I had just used it. But like my razor, which I didn't have to use, by the way, I shaved Friday, right? Yeah, I shaved Friday, last Friday night, and I didn't have to shave again until yesterday. And I really didn't even have to shave. It's just like a preference of mine. I don't like hair. It's just disgusting. And it builds bacteria. So if you don't shave, even as a man, like if you don't have to necessarily shave like we do. But it's good to just trim a little bit, you know, everywhere because it harbors bacteria. So even when you shower or like, you know, whatever, you still have a little smell behind you or you easily smell. So like, let's just say you take a shower and you go do something. You smell quicker than if you were to trim it or like a woman if you were to shave. So I just prefer to shave. I used to shave my actual arm, like my arms. I stopped doing that because I noticed my hair would grow back thicker and thicker. And it was just annoying me right now. You really can't even see it for real, for real. But yeah, I don't do all that now. That's just doing too much. I'm already in the shower for about three hours. So I'm not about to be doing all that. But yeah, I didn't even really have to shave again. Probably today I would have. If not Saturday, but it's just a personal preference of mine. And then, you know, today's anniversary, okay? So, you gotta be, you gotta be right, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, so, I'm gonna go ahead with this moisturizer. I love this, um, this moisturizer, too, because you can put it on your body. It's just like my sunscreen. You can use it for your face and body. And I love, I love it. I love it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I need to be saving this space for um by the way this ball is so I just love it. I love it because the space on here is like immaculate. I've been able to record so much and I'm just so happy. 
Okay, I'm done for real. I'm about to pack. Bye. Okay. Hey guys, so we checked into the Texas Mansion, Music Mansion, I believe is what it's called. This is the entrance. Well, that's the entrance. But it's definitely a musical vibe. You already know who this man is. Got all of the old legends, icons, if you will. Yes, 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 yes. That's wind and fire. <laughs> Look at the beautiful architectural pieces. Like, wow, it's just gorgeous. Oh, look, they have all of the musical equipment, like old musical equipment. They have guitars. It says, unless you are Eddie Van, do not touch the guitars. <laughs> Screaming, I don't even know what it is. But this is, if you notice everything is like rustic, old you know what i mean what people probably would look at and consider like dirty that's their intention um because it's an old old house <laughs> so they just kept up that type of um brassiness on like the furniture pieces and stuff this is extra guitars and more pictures that's a old piano yeah this is beautiful like honestly I'm assuming this is people's rooms. Yeah. See, this is the McCartney McCartney suite. So I'm not gonna show too much. Babe, where'd you go? <laughs> okay. I guess this is a signed guitar from somebody. Oh, one bad son. Amen. 2014. Oh, that's somebody's suite. Okay. Now we're going down to the pool. And these are the restrooms. Oh my God. This is just too beautiful, y'all. 30, 30, what? 3.5? I guess that's three feet. But yeah, that's where they cook and stuff. These palm trees are sickening. What? Yeah, crazy. My husband is just leaving me, y'all. <laughs> I guess he said, baby, you're doing too much. Okay. Oh, this is nice. That's a speaker. Tell me who that is. Is that Miss Diana? Okay. I forgot who this is. Um, crap. I can't think of it, but yeah. And it's giving me a clue, but I can't remember. What was in there? Where did you go? Yes, I love it. This is gorgeous. Okay, that's probably just the whole, but that's actually, I think, where we just came from, so. Hello. Let's go over here. And we get a we get a free tour because we booked the room through Airbnb, so we don't have to pay for a tour, which of course I won't pay for it anyway. <laughs> but definitely bring your off because baby, we get made up. Especially over here specifically because I feel like we're like right in the like downtown area and um the room like i said in this stuff it's just very i'll show y'all i didn't even show y'all the room i'll show y'all the room but yeah just look at this like take it in it's so breathtaking i feel like this is more breathless than the breathless but over there is the bar i think it is and they have like shows and stuff at night so yeah and then i don't know if y'all can see i can't zoom in but that is the caribbean sea it's just so gorgeous, y'all. I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh, 
Okie dokie, guys. We are back from running errands, basically. So we went to KFC. The line was lining. Okay, the line was literally like, I think we waited, what, 30 minutes for our food, right, babe? We waited like 30 minutes for our food. And then um, we went to a gift shop for the ATM because, of course, you have to um, tip your driver. And tell me why, y'all, it was $40 to drive to KFC. KFC is not even five minutes down the road, but it's okay. And then it was another 20 cause we, uh, well 10, cause he took us to the ATM. And then, um, what else? And then we went around to get, um, some, to find some hot chips. Cause that's what I wanted. Cause I know I'm be like snacking during the night, but I'm kind of glad I'm eating late. So that way it can fill me up and then I probably won't be hungry again until like dinner time. So, I don't know what we're gonna do tonight. I don't really care to do anything. Okay, man, I know it's our anniversary, y'all. I'm tired, I was tired. But I really think it's just I need to I need to eat. But yeah. Oh, this is our room, y'all. I didn't even show y'all. So this is the room. <laughs> That's killing me. But this is the room. It says holiday, celebrate, holiday, celebrate. Amen. This is Madonna. This is Madonna theme and inspired, hence all the sexual things, because Madonna was a sex symbol. Nobody's gonna be doing all that. God be praised. This is kind of cute though. I ain't gonna lie, it's kind of cute. And then they got all these wigs as Madonna because that's what, you know, that's who Lady Gaga get her, you know, inspiration from. So yeah, nothing new under the sun. And I think I'm about to watch YouTube because uh, that's what I wanna do. This is our view. Let me step back because I forgot this. Be focusing real hard. Um, hopefully y'all can see. Okay, but yeah. That's the back, and that's the door, and that's the bed, and I'm about to eat. And then we're gonna give y'all our review in just a second. I got the Zinger barbecue combo. My job, this has been sitting, so let's see. It just tastes like like a barbecue sandwich. But it's good though. It's pretty good with the cheese and stuff. This is how it look. Can y'all see that? About this. There we go. I don't know. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. Pretty good. I would rate it. Eight out of ten. Okay, I'm not gonna get off. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just do the I'm still a very good place. Tell the clock for me. 
Staring long and hard at these stupid computers today. <laughs> I'm done. This is babe's food. Well, all of this is his food. Lord have mercy. And this is their waters. So they have flavored waters. Great. And then I got cranberry. Yeah. So I got the homestyle chicken with the red beans and rice. Or they call it rice and peas. And then he got, what did they call it? Cauliflower rice or cauli rice, whatever it is. It basically has like green stuff in it. I guess it's parsley. Something, child. We got oxtails. He got curry goat, which I wanted to try. And fried chicken, I believe. So, yeah, I'm about to eat. outside the party. <laughs> yeah. Our last meal in Jamaica, y'all. They've got fish and a whole bunch of other stuff. I got the homestyle chicken with curry goat and rice and peas. This is their Jamaica water. Flavor, great. They have the soldier camp. <laughs> this is the um, second largest headquarters. Oh, got gotcha. you. Next one is at Kingston. Oh. That is from uh, Manchester. Ah. Yeah. Oh, that's from, um, Does it rain a lot here? Well, not as much as. y'all I just demolished this cookie from Whataburger what I think that's like my sixth cookie this week no cap but anyways let me turn this TV down because we ain't trying to get copyrighted okay Miss Rachel I do not own copyrights to your song period and it'll be almost a full week of us being back from vacation I want to go back <laughs> but um I wanted to tell y'all because I told y'all that I was gonna do the ending portion of just talking about the whole entire experience and so that's what we're gonna do today yay we're gonna chat so basically my husband did everything but he's very like short with his words so he literally just told me all he did was he went on facebook he typed in a travel agent found the person that he wanted i guess that had the best reviews i don't know i don't know so 
I think he's just giving y'all the basics. You're gonna have to do your own research of all the other stuff. But he found a travel agent that he liked um, and they do everything from you. They book the, the trip for you, like the whole nine, um, even down to the flight, I believe, like everything. All you're responsible for is paying for it. So he paid the travel agent and then they do everything for you. Our trip for an all-inclusive um, resort was 3400 and with the travel agent you pay them I think he paid her like $50 um, I think he said you can make things in like payments this is why I wish he would have told me everything because I don't want to get on here to tell y'all I think I think I think um, but because I've never been on vacation before I've never booked anything like that before that's why I don't know um, but if I had personal experience, I would have just told y'all, but I don't know. So that's what he told me. He went on Facebook, typed in travel agent, found who he liked, paid her $50, paid for our whole thing. The whole resort was three, was 3,400. And then once you get down there, because it's all inclusive, you are not responsible for anything. You'd have to pay for anything, but never go anywhere without money. That's just common sense. So just in case something occurs, maybe they don't put all inclusive on your thing. And then now you got to pay for everything. You already down there. So what you going to do? So always have money, always, always. We um, were going to take 2,000 down there, but I was just kind of telling him, we're not gonna be doing excursions every single day, okay? I am down here to relax, okay? Hence why we only did two, really, we only did one, but we bought for two. Um, but yeah, so that's what we did, and that's how we got down there, pretty much. And you just, of course, keep up with your flight information, know when you're boarding, know when you're actually departing, know when you're coming back know if you have a layover or not so um and some of that stuff especially with like airports and stuff you won't know some things until you get there but for the most part you know that you're going and that you're coming the next thing is once you get on the flight and you make it down to jamaica after your layover um customs they made it seem like all the videos me and montreal watched as far as like jamaican vlogs when people went to jamaica they made it seem like customs was just gonna kick your butt they didn't do that with us. And it could be because I didn't have to go through checking in the bag. I did carry on. So it could have been that. But even Montreal, when he checked in his bag, he didn't have any problems, like, at all. So I don't know why other people had a bad experience, but we did it. Um, it was actually pretty smooth. The only thing I will say now, once you touch down in Jamaica and you get in their airport, they have, like, um, these slips of paper. They have like these little slips that you fill out. It's basically an immigration slip and you need to fill it out. When you see them walk on the airplane and they say, does anybody need a sheet? Does anybody need a sheet? Take it unless you do it online. But more than likely you won't know, especially if it's like, if you're like me, you know, traveling for the first time. I've traveled before by myself to Atlanta and I've also traveled to LA. But when I was traveling to LA, I was very young. And when I traveled to Atlanta, that was like 2018, I believe. So I didn't have to go through all this extra stuff, but because you're going out of the country, you have to, you know, fill out that immigration thing outside of your passport. So if you don't know this and it's your first time, take the slip that they offer you on the plane. Because when you get off and you get on there and you get in their airport, they're going to ask for those sheets. They're going to want to see those sheets. And me and Montreal had to get out of line because they're Jamaican. So they already got an attitude for why we don't know. They always mad. They always frustrated. So they really don't want to help you. Then they get mad because you asking it for help. But it's like, I don't know what I'm doing. So I need you to help me. But um, when we got, once we touched down in the airport, they were just like, yeah, just go over here, just go over here. And they're pointing, but they're not giving clear instructions. So we were just walking and walking and walking. We finally get to the line and we see people standing in line. So we just stood in the line because we were just like, okay, because we don't know. So we just figured out when we get up there. So they were calling people and we noticed that the paper that they offered on the airplane, they were asked, they were given the paper up at the front desk. So we really didn't have to worry about anything. But we ended up just going back because we basically needed that slip in order to speak to the front desk. So, or the receptionists that are at all the different windows. So we had to go back out of line when we had already been in line, but we had to go back out of line, fill it out for both of us. If you are traveling with someone else, it doesn't matter if it's two, three, four, five, all of you have to fill out an individual paper. I don't know if that is recommended for infants and little kids, but yeah, I do know that if it's you and someone else, you have to do, you know, a separate uh, form. So we filled it out and then we didn't get back in line because I told him, I said, I'm not getting back in line. We've been in line for 10, 20 minutes. No, not doing it. We walked up there. We looked at that lady and she was like, all right, to so go to 24. And then we went to 24. 
uh, desk 24, area 24, whatever you want to call it. So um, it's a real quick process after that. They just look at your passport, stamp it. Everything on the form that they give you, you have to fill it out correctly. If you don't, they're going to make you do it over. So, or not do it over, but they're going to say, um, Miss Peterson, there's something missing, you know, or, you know, that's not the full address. And then you'll know because maybe you didn't put the city. Maybe you didn't put the zip code and go from there. After that, they stamp it. Then you go through another process of giving them the slip that you just filled out. You give it to another person as you're actually walking into the town or country of Jamaica. Um, after that, um, you'll go to the front, another front desk, and that's where they're going to give you your tour guide. And that'll be the person that'll book the excursions for you while you're on the resort. Um, they'll take care of everything for you. You have to worry. You have nothing to worry about. They'll take care of everything. Um, and then you just get on a bus that they assign you to, and then they take you to your resort. And it was literally like, it sounds like a lot. And that's only because when we were in it, it was a lot. But after we kind of like assessed everything, it really wasn't. It was like a really quick process for the most part. I would just say the irritating part is the Jamaican airport. But again, like customs and stuff, them, like what we saw on vlogs was like, you know, they were making it seem like the Jamaicans was like terrorizing you. And it wasn't like that. Yes, they had an attitude, but it wasn't like a terrorizing type of thing at all. Um, if anything, they just was mad, but they didn't. It wasn't at you you know i think it's just like their demeanor it's just like how they are their nature yeah after that it was real simple we got on the bus as y'all saw we you know explored a little bit of montego bay before they dropped us off at the resort and it's going to be a few people in the van that are not going to the resort with you so i don't know if our resort is like the first resort because when they asked us again we were staying at the breathless um resort so i don't know if that's the first one because that's where they dropped us off first or if that was just the route that the man was taking. So don't be alarmed if that's not your resort, but they drop off. You don't have to get off because it's obviously not your resort. So they dropped us off. And then there's a guy in the front of the hotel before you even walk in who takes your bags. Like they, they worship the ground you walk on. Okay. So like they was even taking my drill bag. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like he a man, but they was taking care of his stuff. So they took both of our bags. They told us to sit down for a moment. We sat there. That wasn't long. I think we sat there for at least 10 minutes because they were trying to get other people in their rooms as well. And so they called us up. They were very nice. Like very very nice i think that was the first time i've ever met a nice jamaican because <laughs> i met jamaicans before but this was on a whole nother level they were extremely professional and very 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 sweet people so we had a young lady and she was just telling us about the room telling us our accommodations telling us you know what we have access to and honestly the word don't does not exist down there at least in the breakless resort like they love to give you everything because you paid your money. You know what I'm saying? And to a lot of people, 3400 ain't a lot, but to them, that's a lot. So they give you a lot. And another thing that I was going to mention later on in this portion, but I'm already at 10 minutes. I'm not trying to talk y'all ear off is you have access. When I say to everything, you're on multiple resorts. So you're on the breathless resort. You're on secrets. I think there's like a whole nother resort outside of that. You have access to all of that. You know how like when you go to places and you only have access to like one certain area? No. What you pay for, you get everything. So you literally have access to a whole nother resort that you're not even staying at. So I thought that was dope because it gives you kind of like more fun outside of your own resort because it's only so much you can do on the resort right you know you only got a few restaurants you got the nightlife and it's like okay cool say hello to a special guest who's made his arrival you want to say hi you want to say hi thank you man look dude look 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 okay you're just looking at the tripod you're looking at this bottle <laughs> Yeah, here's your milk. Make sure it's not too hot. Basically, like I said, you only have so much that you can do on the resort. It doesn't get boring, but like if you're staying there as long as we did, it's like, okay, what's next? So that's why I'm glad we definitely did the Airbnb because it gave us the experience outside of the resort to actually experience the real Jamaican culture. So I thought that was really dope. You pretty much go do what you want to do. Your room is not going to be ready, like unless you come after three o'clock, which most, you know, yeah, I know most hotels, most rooms are not available until three and afterwards, um, unless you do early check-in, which I don't think we were able to do anyway because it's a resort. So they have to really get your room clean because it's not just your regular like hotel, if you will, I guess it is, but it's not. 
Um, and then of course, because of what we're doing, like they wanna make sure that like all the other things are taken care of. No, having things set up because it was our anniversary too. So um, while they were doing that, we were pretty much just exploring the resort and looking at like where we we're gonna be, where we're gonna go and just kind of having a good time. And then um, once the room is ready, they, again, they have a person that comes up and shows you everything. As y'all saw in the video, they were showing us what to do, um, the lights, the shower, how to work the shower. Cause again, everything was touch screen. So I thought that that was just amazing how they really took care of you and like, you know, honored like everything, you know, um, even down to the room. Like if you kept your thing or your light on do not disturb, they were not coming in your room. Okay. Um, another thing too, they are kind of annoying, right? Cause it's like, you want that five-star treatment, but then it's like, it becomes too much. Prime example was every time they delivered towels, every time they delivered room service, every time they did anything, they would call every five minutes. Hey, was it satisfactory? Hey, did we deliver the food? Hey, was it warm? Hey, did you get your towel? Was it yellow? Was it blue? Was it white? And it was like, okay, listen, baby, we got it. We appreciate the custom service. So if you're the type of person that, you know, some things can be overkill that might get on your nerves, but if you're the type of person that love it, hey, eat it up, because that's what they're gonna do. Um, they are really good, like with everything. The room in itself was beautiful, had no complaints. Um, I will say our TV kept going like in and out, but we weren't really there to watch TV anyway, so it didn't matter. I just like having the TV on when I go to sleep. And we were having such a good time. We really rarely went to sleep. Like we did, but we didn't. Um, yeah, we just had a lot of fun, y'all. Genuinely, we had a lot of fun. Okay, so next was the Airbnb. Now, the Airbnb, I ain't gonna hold y'all. Trash. Mm -mm. Nope, never again. Basically, it was like our Motel 6, but that's like luxury for them because they're in Jamaica. I mean, you know, and that is like everything to them. That's like London to them, you know what I mean? But that's like our literal like Motel 6, and it was definitely giving those vibes. I tried to make the best of it, but I think the atmosphere was just so like lame, like, and we couldn't really get out of that funk. So we were just like, no, like this is not working. And luckily we just dealt with it. Well, we dealt with it because luckily we weren't there for that long. I think we were only gonna spend two nights in there. That's still kind of a long time if you think about it, but two nights and then we got up Saturday morning, we were leaving. So. It was cool while it lasted. And then of course the last night, which well, the last night was Saturday technically, but the last night was Friday. The last day was Saturday. The last night was Friday. So we just went to this place called Pier One, as y'all saw. And we pretty much spent the whole night there. And then um, we stopped to get some real, real authentic Jamaican food again. And it was amazing. I'm like, how do the jerk chicken get better and better? Like it didn't make no sense. So we wanted that specifically um, before we left, but obviously we didn't want to drive all the way down there. So we just went with um, the closest place to the Airbnb. But yeah, I feel like if it was a mansion that we had access to all rooms, it prob probably would have been better. But because this was a mansion that had different suites, it just wasn't the vibe. And then literally it looked like somebody's house that we was living in and just like a small basement area. It just, it, it, it was not the vibe y'all. It might've actually looked bigger on camera than it was in person, but no. Like the floors were concrete. The shower was given like, you know how, um, have you ever seen the documentary of Left Eye? That's the vibes it was given. Like when she was like showering outside and stuff, like it was that kind of, baby, mm -mm, we not them kind of folk. Mm -mm. We luxury and we bougie as we should be, like what? So, yeah, it, it wasn't giving. Like, we're just going to be honest. And then, like, yeah. it was lame because it's like, not that Madonna is no. lame, but just the room in itself. It was just like, mm -mm, it's, it's not a vibe. <laughs> like, it's not a vibe. And we rather create our own atmosphere, if you will, um, if, if y'all can read between the lines, okay? Because I'm not trying to get flagged on YouTube. But we like to create our own atmosphere. So, the Madonna thing... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. it wasn't given but again y'all overall we really had a good time um the driver that we had came with the airbnb airbnb so that was a good thing i think that was the blessing in disguise because if we would have gotten anything else i don't know if the airbnb um would have had a driver company if you will um they probably did i don't know but um because they're used to tourists out here a lot they and that's what our driver told us and then 
we got so blessed to get the driver that's over the whole security. So everybody know him, you know what I'm saying? Like he was able to bring in his gun into an environment that they do not allow guns. Like we, we always get blessed and favored like that. Anytime we go out, um, something like that happens to us. You know, we meet the head honcho or we get money off our bill or somebody pay for our meal. Like it all, it literally, that's our life. So I wasn't surprised when he said that. And I wasn't surprised he even gave us a discount. It wasn't too much of a discount, but it was a discount nonetheless than what he's used to charging. But we ended up paying him the same amount, if not more. <laughs> so, but he was just like, um, he gave us his card and then he was like, anytime y'all come back down here or y'all know somebody that's coming down here, give them my information. I'll take care of them. And he's really good at his job, like very respectful. He literally stayed at the Pier 1. Pier 1 is kind of like a night vibe, if you will. Um, it's like an outside Daddy. club, basically. <laughs> and he stayed outside, y'all outside the whole time mind you we got there at like 10 30 and we didn't leave to almost two i think no it was like one we kind of late we, we a little old and some things like after a certain point it's like okay we get it you know we have our moment and then we go home like we not about to be here all day and all night now church we're gonna be here all day and all night but that it just was like okay we get it you know we had a good time now let's go home <laughs> and that's what that was but he stayed outside y'all all night granted he was talking to different people and stuff but it's just the principle that he did that he was telling us about his wife and his family we met his both we met both of his sons they actually dropped us off at the airport because he's also a private security officer i believe um he works with the law and so he um he got called in that day so he couldn't take us to the airport and he kept telling us he would love to take us to the airport and he couldn't do it and so we met his beautiful sons they was just dressed up and clean and they look very well put together. It was so, it was so good, y'all. Like honestly, the entire atmosphere and vibe was amazing. But I know for a fact I've been talking for like 20 minutes now. So I'm done. If there's anything that I forgot, I'm just not going to take y'all time. It's the camera focusing on Jacob. Um, I'm not gonna take any more time running my mouth. Leave any questions, concerns, whatever um lovely comments whatever bad comments leave it all in the de in the description leave it all in the comment section let me know the questions you have i will definitely answer them if i don't know them then i don't know them i would send you to google okay um but other than that again we had a great time and if y'all are planning to go go it is worth it it's a vibe i would recommend even going with more people like you know, we, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to go with two of our other friends, but they couldn't make it. And so we're definitely going to do a trip together very soon this year, probably for my husband's birthday. I think we'll do something, but, um, well, I know we're going to do something, but I don't know if they're going to come through this time. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm excited about that. And yeah, we had a great time and I hope you guys go. If you're ready to go on vacation. If you just want to get a break, um, I definitely recommend the Breakfast Resort in Montego Bay. It was definitely worth it. And yeah. But that is it. I love y'all and I'll talk to y'all later. You wanna say bye? Zeke is saying bye, but y'all can't see him. Jacob. Kai. Child, it's this pamper that's full. Your daddy ain't changed your diaper all day. Oh, yes, he did. But that one is full. What? Don't throw. Can you say bye? Not you got a runny nose. That's because you've been by your daddy. All that dog on sneeze and got my son runny nose. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Say I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Say I'll see you later. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. <laughs> bye, y'all.